up everyone, I'm Steven here with Tiny House Listings and today I'm in front of a 28 foot model Tiny that we recently completed. This happens to still be for sale. We just built this one just to uh, go ahead and have ready in case whenever you have a customer ready to buy one. Uh, but anyways, this one is painted all black, has a really good look on it. If you kind of follow me this way, I'll show you that we did like a really cool design on it. A lot of people in the warehouse been calling it the Venom, kind of like Spider-Man. <laughs> but uh, the whole entire Tiny House is clad in LP sheets, 50 year product. And it's all one color, which a lot of people like these days. Um, this is our model tiny. It comes on three 6,000 pound heavy duty axles. Um, if you walk around to the back here, I'll show you. Stabilizer jacks on every corner. GFI outlet. Look on the back right here, we have a, is it 12,000 or 9,000 BTU? 12,000. 12,000 BTU mini split rated for 450 square feet. Obviously this is smaller than that, so no problem. You notice in the past we did, uh, we're still doing that. We did a uh, lap siding with the LP, but on this particular one, we used sheets. And um, I think that it comes out really good. It looks good. It's more like a board and batten style. But uh, we'll cut here and we'll go inside and we'll take you inside and show what's going on. All right, so now we're inside the 28 foot uh, model tiny tiny house. And on this one, it's a little bit different. We don't have uh, lap siding, but we do. We actually use cabinet grade plywood on the wall and the ceiling, and then we nickel gapped it. So it has like a really cool kind of modern Scandinavian look to it. But the thing about the 28 foot versus the 24 foot, it adds about four more feet of uh, living space here at the end. Um, so if you were to purchase this particular one, we could actually put a uh, room divider in here, a privacy wall. That way you can have your bedroom area and then have the rest of the sleeping area, I mean the rest of the living area over this way. Um, but yeah, this one's turnkey ready to go. We'll actually pan around here. So this is the kitchen area, eight foot long butcher block countertop, um, stainless steel sink, two burner induction cooktop, really nice shelves, got some nice wall cabinets. Um, 13 gallon hot water heater, so you can definitely take a shower, no problem. And the hot water heaters we use uh, get hot much quicker. Also have a nice storage loft above. You can put all your knickknacks, whatever it is you need to put up there. Yep, soft close hinges for privacy. We also build our own vanities here, which come out really nice, made out of butcher block. This is our new layout too. Yeah, this is the new layout. So I'll hop out of here, Gabe, so you can look. But if you come around this corner, you'll see that there is a space to put your washer and dryer. And then once the washer and dryer is in, you can put storage shelving up here, higher it as you want. Really like this layout, much more efficient. So anyways, if you enjoy the tour, if you like this tiny house, if you're interested and you're watching this and it hasn't sold yet, uh, click the link below and uh, it'll take you to the listing on the Tiny House Listings website where you can get more information. You can reach out to Chelsea, who's in charge of sales for Tiny House Listings. Uh, so anything, anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.